July 4th, 1776, the 13 colonies claimed their independence from England, an event eventually leading to the formation of our United States. And today we celebrate the 4th of July or Independence Day with fireworks. And since July 4th is one week from today, we can say it's almost boom time. We're talking about red, white, and boom. Ryan Weitzel is the co-chair of Red, White, and Boom, and he joins us this afternoon. Thank you. I'm so excited. This is such a big deal for those who have never been. This is a pretty spectacular uh, uh, fireworks show. It is. Yeah. It absolutely is. It's huge. Yeah. Um, it's a, uh, a $20,000 show. Um, it's 20 minutes long, and uh, there's a lot of people that show up. Man, okay, so like last year, 1025 WBOC is going to have the uh, the music to go along with it. Tell us about that. Um, so the music will be playing. Uh, we'll have DJ Booth that's there, and they'll be playing live the yeah. entire day, and they broadcast it on the radio, too. So uh, even if you haven't made it there yet, you can still listen to the music uh, before you get there. But it's a... I think it's a, a pretty good mix of kind of Americana music, yeah. uh, both old and new. So yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, so this is a this is an event that um, you know for a little while we didn't have fireworks at, at, in the Salisbury area, and then they came back through the leadership of Mike Dunn, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then he handed it over to you and your co-chair yes. Brian Nelson. Yes. So tell us, is there anything different, anything new this year? Um, well, we've really tried to keep things the same uh, for the most part. Um, we. No big changes this year. We want to keep with the same tradition um, of what Mike was doing. I think that works well, and yeah. uh, and people obviously appreciate it and like it a lot. So you know why change what uh, what really works well? If it ain't okay. broke, don't fix it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, let's pretend I've never been there and never seen. What, give me an overview of what can I what what can I expect when I when I get there? Okay. Well, I would suggest arrive early. Um, yeah. it, get, it starts at 6.30. There's plenty of parking around, uh, both in the Civic Center parking lot, um, Comico County Stadium parking lot. But get there early because a lot of people show up. But once the event starts, there's bounce houses for kids that Sunrise Church will provide. We'll have about 10 food vendors, a uh, mix of things from ice cream to fireworks to popcorn, uh, barbecue. I mean, pretty much anything oh, that you man. can think of, name it. Uh, we'll have the Kids Kazoo Race. <laughs> um, as well, we have that. That's an event that we have every year, and I mean, it's a it's a great event because you can bring your children. It's open; they can run around, you know, get rid of all their energy. Uh, but it's also fenced in, so it's a pretty safe, cool contained safe. area as well. Yeah, nice. a whole lot of family fun. So, tell Definitely. us what goes into planning an event this big. Um, a lot. <laughs> I, yeah. uh, I I don't think if we were just starting out and we didn't have Mike Dunn's leadership that we would. I, I wouldn't know where to start. Mm -hmm. um, he really kind of gave us a blueprint, but from setting it up with the city um, to the county to the state of Maryland um, and with the fireworks uh, company as well, it's uh, there's a lot of moving pieces and a lot of people that you need to communicate with to make sure that we have a safe event um, and a fun event for everybody. It's a pretty big challenge. It's a pretty big challenge. It's yeah. not, not too bad. Like I said, is, Mike did a good job putting is, it. Is there anything in particular that you're looking forward to the most? Um, I personally, I like driving around in the uh, golf carts during the event <laughs> and talking to people. I think that's the that's most fun part. Just of it. talking to people. I just okay. enjoy that, you yeah. know. Yeah. And you said that there's free parking and and, and the the event itself is free. It's free as well. Yep. And um, even if uh, even if you are late and you can't find parking that from pretty much any parking lot on Old Ocean City Road uh, out to um, like Twilly Center parking lot, mm -hmm. you can you can see the it's fireworks. Be visible. Yeah. But yeah. be there because there's so but, much. Right, be yeah. there. It's that's the event. You okay, know? give us the where's and the wins. Okay, uh, so the event itself is at Wicomico County Stadium. Mm -hmm. um, starts at 6:30. Um, at 9:15, we're gonna have sort of the a gold and a blue star or firework that go off for right. gold and blue star families. Oh, okay. uh, nice. And then at 9:20, the show really starts. It'll be 20 minutes long. And at uh, 9:40, we will cease. Do All you right. need to bring stuff with us? Um, bring chairs. Bring towels uh, so blankets. you can sit down. Blankets, yeah. yeah. Um, pretty much anything you'd uh, expect to to sit down and watch a an it. awesome fireworks. And show. if it happens to rain, which we're hoping it doesn't, then it's it would gonna. be the following night. It it will be. So it's okay. not going to rain. It, well, okay, uh, so we don't have to worry about that. The forecast looks great. Deal. Definitely not going to rain. <laughs> um, but yes, the the rain date is the fifth. Same in in the event would be the same, same on the time. fifth. Yep. All right, Ryan Weitzel, co-chair of Red, White, and Thank Boom. You. Thank you so it's much, awesome. and good luck with Thank the you other.